Yo! A false set of vibes I represent for the Belgians, but don't know say gonna motivate Shampi Bo Totti. You don't know the rest. Shall out. Anyways, right? This right here is a video tutorial of how to install Microsoft Office 365 for free, right? For free, yes. So that entails all of these applications right here. Let me see. Yeah, so all these applications right here. So when you if you you should get Microsoft Word, OneNote, Forms, Excel, Calendar, OneDrive, Outlook, all of these different applications to your disposal if you install this the right way, right? So let's follow these instructions. So um let me go ahead and show you guys. Because I know a lot of people, you know, pay for Microsoft Office Word to be installed on the computer when they could just get it for free you know as long as you the, the 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 necessary requirements all you have to have is a google chrome installation on your computer and also it would be helpful if you have a gmail or a hotmail account which most people have you know of course right so the first thing we're gonna do everybody that have google chrome should pop up something that looks like this right so this is a normal one so what we're gonna do we're going to click on the top right hand corner on this three little dots right here. Click on the three dots. We're going to go to bookmarks. And then what we're going to do on the third one, we're going to click show bookmarks bar. Right? So it's going to look something like this, but it's going the main thing that you want is this one that says apps. Now if that didn't show, you got you want to toggle between the shortcuts is control shift B, right? That shows or hide it each time, right? So we want it to show so we're gonna go to apps this this one right here when you click apps this is what should show right you, you should see all of these different application right here that is on Google Chrome but if that didn't show you want to go ahead and type in this right here which says Chrome it has a colon dash dash apps now go ahead and type this out if just go in Google and type this out you should see all of this that's the the chart how we are doing it but what we're gonna do, what we're interested in is the web store. So click on the web store. These are all the applications that are available on for you to install on your Google Chrome if as an extension, you know. But the one that we want is Office. So type in Office right here, enter. And what we're gonna click on is the third one down that says Office. This one right here. So click on this one right here, Office, and what we're gonna do is click Add to Chrome, right? Click Add to Chrome, a pop-up gonna come up, click Add to Extension, click that, Add to Extension. You're gonna see like something happened, but you don't really know what happened, so um, we're gonna go to the top right-hand corner and go to this extension. So see right here this little puzzle piece that look like a little puzzle piece so click on extensions you're gonna see the office here already but it's gonna be grayed out because you haven't installed you haven't signed in yet so click on the office and it's gonna show this pop up right here now what we're gonna do is click on the second one that says sign in with a Microsoft account so go ahead and click on that guys and now is where it's gonna ask you to sign in if you don't have a, a Google account or a hotmail account it's gonna you could go this is where you could go ahead and create one so you could go ahead and click create one if you don't have one if you have one well go ahead and sign in right that's what I'm gonna do so all right password. the time is four o'clock p.m. that's so much password I hope that one correct all right, so it seemed that it went. We're gonna know if it went through. Just go to the top right hand corner to the puzzle piece again. Click on that, and boom, see it looks colored out. So, what now it look pretty and nice, right? So, click on office, go ahead and click on this, and boom, you should be able to see all the different applications PowerPoint, OneNote, Excel, Word, OneDrive, Outlook, right? And say if you click on Word. Right here, you should be able to create a new black document. You should be able to, you know, you have a bunch, you know, you have, um, you could create your essays, resume, whatever. You know, most of the time in school, people, they need this kind of stuff. So 
there you know guys uh, there's excel there's a bunch of different templates just as the the powerpoint you know you could create go ahead and create a presentation and the good thing about this guys um any any work that you anything that you have been working on it's gonna show on recent so if you go on excel it's gonna you could see recent so it's gonna show so you could continue working on your documents there's outlook where um you know this is like your email you could go ahead and send out emails um whatever guys so the possibilities are endless man and i just want to make sure you everyone is in position you know position for the win so i may give thanks my lord shut up yeah so if you go to onedrive this is the one that i use it the most for right I use OneDrive because the good thing is that you could save up to five gigabytes of storage. As you can see, I have one out of five gigabytes of storage. And if you go ahead and purchase this, which we won't, um, you have up to one terabyte of storage, right? So anywhere in the world, you could have access to any of your files on any computer as long as you're on Google Chrome, right? So that's the great thing. You know, I save all of my, you know, big, large videos, you know, things where you can't really sent out and things so it, it's just it's just nice and convenient you know they have the one note which is like a virtual notebook you know you could go ahead and whatever create you know whatever you want type so um they have to do lists they have you know they have even calendars where you could go ahead and schedule out your um you know you want to schedule out your upcoming appointments or whatever even show you the, the weather guys look at it eh? Even sure whether you know you have your whole calendar and thing, and also Skype. Yeah, also show you Skype. You know, so you could even video video call, do video call to to people, whatever, whoever have your account too. You know. So, guys, there's just a bunch of different um, you know, different application that you could have for free. I know that a lot of people. I know school is starting back, and there's a lot of people that you know go out and pay for these kind of services so i just want to show you guys how you could get it the ethical way uh you know for free instead of pirating these um these application right here right so you have the microsoft word excel powerpoint outlook onedrive onenote and just a whole bunch of different thing that you could go ahead and do right possibilities are endless and just you know just let me know if this worked for you and if it didn't work for you just go ahead and send you know send me a comment and i'll go ahead and check it out and if you have any and uh, just go ahead and like share share this video if it worked for you comment you know subscribe to the bell juice online page you know the bell juice tv um and you know one love just share it to other students so that um you know they could get the gentleman else more look out from people's day also i say one love and thing just have a blessed day and i'm out Shalom.